Hi everyone and welcome back to learning how to build a waffle structure. Uh, so where we left off was uh, indicating and mapping where our intersections are going to occur and the size and location of where our notches are going to be. So we have um, blue and green ribs or Y and Z ribs uh, and we have our intersections that are split um, and mapped to each set of layers. So why don't we turn our uh, Z's off and let's start laying out our our Y ribs here. So I'm going to change to a front view um, and what I want to do is I want to uh, sh use a shear command so I'll go actually a uh, forward view here. Uh, I want to use a shear command to lay out uh, my elements. So in the top view, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, uh, I'm going to turn my construction lines on again, um, and I'm going to type in uh, shear. I want to make sure that my project is clicked on, uh, that I have an end selected, and then I have a, um, a, a perpendicular O-snap uh, working. Okay, so let's do a shear. So let's see. There we go. Okay. Ah, smart track has to be on too. Okay. So that's what I'm looking for. And we'll sort of push these out. Okay, and so again, I um, I view shear, and I had selected. I want to make sure that included in my selection is uh, both my surfaces and where my notches are going to be, my intersection lines. So let's turn off uh, our construction. Uh, let's make sure that we're going to hide these forms here. Let's say hide. Let's move these out into space. I'm going to turn my gumball on. Let's sort of move these out a little bit further. Uh, just sort of separate them out. Uh, and now what I need to do is uh, start drawing where my notches are. So I'm going to go here to cut. I'm going to select black. Now there's a variety of ways of doing this. Um, the simplest way is to draw a rectangle. Uh, and what I want to do is make sure that the size of this rectangle corresponds with the size of my material that I'm cutting. So if I'm cutting 16th inch chipboard, I'm gonna s type in 1 16th of an inch. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna say 1 inch by 1 16th. Okay. And I want to also make sure that my cut is bigger than my my intersection line. Uh, this is really useful because what it's what's going to happen is that um, when I cut through, you know, it it, it cuts totally through uh, my my surface. Uh, let's go here and just sort of s make sure we're selecting our our points in the right way. So we say uh, copy. We want to make sure we're copying it from midpoint and we're building these across here. Okay, and we can turn my midpoint O snap off because I'm just trying to manually go through and position these. Uh, let's go here. Two, three, four. Oops, uh, I'm missing one, one crucial thing, which is um, projecting these, project these to the construction plane. Uh, do we input? Yes. So we can see that these are, just to sort of redo that, these are all off, right? And we're doing it again. Oops. So we're going to, yes, okay. 
Okay, so let's expand. Uh, so in my front view here, and let's go back in and, and do these. So let's do copy. And now I'm just manually sort of pushing these to each end. Uh, if you were used to working with uh, or trying to develop a grasshopper script, uh, think about how uh, my manual actions here are systematic. So they can be coded. In other words, I am grabbing a rectangle of a certain size uh, by a certain point, namely the midpoint of one of its ends. And then I'm mapping that midpoint to uh, the end of each of these sets of curves. Okay. So we were using a similar command when we were doing laser layouts with mapping, uh, in that case there were um, profiles or contours to planes. Uh, so you can imagine it's the same logic uh, in terms of uh, creating a script to, to do this automatically. Okay, so let's go back and let's do this again. So as I'm building these, I'm also conscious of um, sort of areas where it could be problematic for when I'm cutting. Um, I don't want to sort of take away too much material from, from some aspects. So if these notches are really uh, coming close to uh, an end of the material, uh, that could be an issue. Um, also thinking about uh, sort of the ease of construction here. Um, it's nice that each of these sort of pieces is independent, so it's going to make it relatively easy to build. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make sure that my, um, so my cuts are in the right layer. So now let's select uh, these what we want to do is we want to use the split. So we're going to select um, our visible bits here. Uh, let's change, let's create a new layer. Uh, let's do a uh, new layer and we'll say these are um, so laser. So there's going to be uh, Y crow profile uh, laser. This they're going to be on a red layer. Okay, so let's select these objects. Uh, do Y change object layer. All right, so I can turn my intersection here off. I'm going to select these uh, and I'm going to use the split command. So we're going to split. Oh, let's do split command again. So objects to split. Uh, we're splitting our profiles. Okay, our cutting objects are our cuts. So let's make sure we're in the right layer. And then we're going to select these objects. So now it splits. Um, I can turn these off. I can select these and I can do a, a quick temporary hide. Um, let me show you some visibility. If I do, um, here we go. So we're going to hide A. I'm going to delete all of my trimmed elements and I want to show A. So one more step here is to, um, let's do a new layer. Uh, y uh, profile score, and this needs to be blue. All right, and then what I need to do is add uh, a text command. So the height here doesn't need to be too big. This can be, um, say, point five. Uh, we're going to do 
one, and this needs to be um, a MechSoft font. Okay. And then let's sort of pull this across here. So we need to be opposites. So let's let's sort of make that uh, smarter. So we're going to say uh, one a let's make the size correct. Um, uh, point two five. Uh, one A, okay. One B, so this is indicating sort of a left and a right. And then uh, one B. Excuse me, uh, so one B. So the next is uh, text uh, 0.25 JVG file to match. So 0.25. Again, I'm looking for my MechSoft, and I'm going to say 2A. So we're going to have to, uh, let's do the skin, uh, so text, we'll use Arial for now, uh, and we'll, once we once we look at it again, then we can change it before we laser cut. Okay, 2B, 3A. 3B, 4A, 4B. Okay, so those look pretty good. Um, and the last thing here is to convert surfaces to curves. So let's select these objects. We go to curve uh, and we go uh, convert to lines. Oh, excuse me. Um, we're going to duplicate our border. So uh, go here, uh, duplicate border. And now we can uh, select surface and delete. So there's some curves. Okay, and now let's go into the Z and sort of do the same thing. So um, let's go into this layer. Let's go to a four view. And what we can do is uh, we can rotate these. So I want to rotate um, by 90. Oops. So let's turn off our our lasers. Sorry, um, we need to just put these on the right. Okay, so turn everything else off. Okay, so I just want to select these. I'm going to rotate them. Uh, I don't want to copy them. Down. Okay. Select my objects. Having some problems with rotating here. Um, okay, that looks better. And then let's sort of move these out of the way. So we're going to move these up. 
Okay, so now let's go into our, um, we can turn off our Y layer, and let's do the same thing that we did for the Ys to the Zs. So, uh, in other words, we need to be able to show our intersections. Um, let's grab, okay, so if I grab, so 89 curves, so let's uh, sell curve. And just make sure that the only curves that we have in here are the um, our intersection curves. Okay, so that looks like it's correct. So I can take these objects. I'm going to turn my construction line on here again, and I'm going to uh, shear. I want to make sure Smart Track is on. So to go here to the bottom. Okay, uh, that I have a perp perpendicular on. And I am sort of mapping these out. Okay. So let's expand like this. Um, all right, so now I need to do sort of the same thing. So let's do, um, let's hide our form here. And see our spacing is sort of um, pretty skewed. So let's bring our sort of objects in closer. Okay, that's relatively good. Um, now we can grab these, uh, move them out. Let's create, again, the same thing. So we'll go uh, sort of two new layers. Um, boom, boom. And these are gonna be uh, Z profile uh, laser, Z uh, profile score. And we'll do this again. Red, blue, uh, cell surface to select them all and let's map them to this layer. All right, so let's go on our notch. Uh, project to C-plane. Do I want to delete my objects? I do, yes. So those are uh, together now. And let's sort of space these uh, just a little bit tighter. Okay. Now, like we were doing before, uh, I need to make my notch, so I'm going to draw a rectangle, uh, one inch by one sixteenth. Again, if you're using a different material thickness for your Y ribs, remember these are for the Y slots, um, cut through the, the Z rib itself. Um, so it just needs to correspond with that material thickness. So if your, if your Ys are thicker than your Zs, um, you need to indicate that thickness with these notches here. So I'm doing the same thing. Uh, I am, oops, go back to my top view. Uh, sort of making sure that these go to each layer. So this takes a little bit of time, um, but it's not quite so bad. If I have sort of my spacing and visibility okay, So again, when you're when you're going through these, uh, you're sort of looking for any potential problems. Um, I'm looking for, in this case, uh, sort of any issues where it might be a, a difficult a material connection, or where a score might. Um, sort of compromise the material integrity of my shape. So 
So, so far it looks pretty good. I don't see any issues with these profiles yet. And let's do it one more side here where I am. Make sure my midpoint is on. So I'm, again, I'm grabbing from a midpoint and pushing it there to the end of these curves. You can also think of using a, uh, a script that you can write in Grasshopper uh, to do this manually. So sometimes by hand, uh, it takes a little bit of time, but um, it's not too bad if you don't have too many of these to do. There's definitely some, the time that goes into writing a script uh, might take longer than actually doing this by hand. So you sort of have to weigh these options. Okay. It seems my form here is almost done. Now you'll, you'll notice that all of my cuts are going in the same direction. So you very well could use your profiles that we generated um, in two lectures ago, right? These can begin to correspond to a sort of alternates. So it looks like there's a problem there. Uh, I might have a Let's see, that might be an issue right there. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm looking at is I might have failed to grab a, um, I might have failed to grab a, a line. So let's check. So this is, let's see, so this is one, two, three, four, and these are the B. So this is one, this is two B. Okay, so it looks like 2B, which one is it? Okay, so this is 1, 2. Okay. So 2B is here, and it's the second one up. Okay, it looks like, it looks like it's okay. So maybe there's a, a, a strange duplication that occurred. So that's the second, second line. Ah, 2B is the second line from the top. Okay. Yeah, so there's the problem. So I'm uh, missing, I'm missing this spot. Okay, so I need to capture that. So let's see, how, how do I do this best? Um, okay, so what I can do is I can grab it from here. So I'm going to copy uh, from this end. I'm going to go to 2B. Uh, so it needs to go he essentially here, but I need to make sure it's in the right spot. So I'm going to go to uh, my midpoint. Okay, and now I want to make sure that I'm moving this uh, perpendicular. And I want to make sure that I have my uh, intersect selected on. Okay. And then here I want to draw my notch, so rectangle, again, uh, one inch by one sixteenth. And let's do a trick here using our curve tools, using um, curve boolean. Oops. So let's try that again. Uh, select the curves. There's this and this. Ah, to keep. That's what I want. Okay, so I can delete this now. I should be able to delete this and then just make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay, that worked. 
you can rebuild that a, a variety of ways. Um, okay, so here I need to do the same trick I did before, um, which is to let's turn off my Y ribs. Okay, I'm going to go into my profile, my laser. I can turn off my intersects. And I'm going to use the split command. So objects to split, select objects, uh, enter. My cutting objects are my notches, select objects. Okay, now let's select these here and let's give it um, again to my visibility I'm going to hide A and turn my notches off All right, let's delete those go up here show A great and now they're back now they're back in let's select our objects convert them Curve from objects is uh, duplicate edges. Uh, select surfaces. Okay, there we go. So now let's go into let's look let's look at our naming conventions here. Um, now I want to be able to name uh, these uh, correctly so what I need is a, a let's do a text and we're going to call this uh, one Z two Z three Z Four Z, five Z, six Z, seven Z, eight Z. Z. Ten Z. Okay, uh, so these are the quick layouts. Uh, we're, the next video is going to get more into annotations, uh, so please uh, pay attention for laying out uh, the laser cut file next. Thank you very much.